Hello, this is Q Dragon, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of medicine. Researchers in Singapore are genetically modifying benign bacteria to destroy an infectious kind. Pseudomonas is the cause of a difficult to treat infection of the gastrointestinal tract or the respiratory system. The researchers modified another bacteria to be sensitive to a signaling molecule used by Pseudomonas. Once triggered, the modified bacteria begin producing a toxin until they burst, releasing the toxin and killing the Pseudomonas. In laboratory experiments, Using this method, 99% of the Pseudomonas were killed. And researchers hope to even improve on those figures by modifying an actual predatory bacteria, as opposed to one that passively attacks. Our next story comes from the field of genetics. Scientists at the University of Manchester have found the first direct evidence for a genetic component of intelligence. The study involved 3,500 people and found that 40 to 50 percent of thinking based traits could be linked to genetics. A large number of genetic markers were analyzed and their results compared with groups from other countries. This study confirms what has been suspected based on twin studies. However, the researchers didn't identify the specific genes that cause intelligence. And like other human traits, the number of contributing genes is large. So don't worry about Gattaca just yet. And some exciting news and a brainstorm first from the world of education. Stanford is going public with three of their most popular computer science courses. The three courses, Machine Learning, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence, and Introduction to Databases start October 10th with registration available now. The free classes will include the same work Stanford students have and use new online learning tools such as short interactive lecture videos and quizzes with instant feedback. Stanford hopes that these new online tools and more freely available education will become more popular in the future. Our final story comes from the field of neuroscience. Scientists at the University of Sydney may have discovered a new pathway for treating the brain. While doing experiments on the part of the brain connected to the optic nerve, they noticed that the most primitive cell layer remains active without stimulation. Known as the K layer, it pulses rhythmically and matched the rhythm of the entire brain. They hope studying this area could lead to new insights on things like sleep and unconsciousness. And because the K layer is sensitive to blue light, it opens up the possibility of treating insomnia, epilepsy, and other conditions through direct brain rhythm manipulation. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links in the video description.